Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with another cars video and I know it's been a little while since I've been back but I have taken a break and now I've come back and now we are back with a Halloween fall setup. And I hope you guys are looking forward to watching this video and all the way throughout Halloween my videos will be looking just like this. Maybe switch it up just a little bit but I'm wanting to have a great fall time and so I'm adding this in here and you'll expect the same thing for Christmas. But no, I haven't been here for a long time but I'm here with a double review today with Ryan inside Laney, and I'm doing a Sandy review versus a normal next gen review of him, and we're gonna see which one's better and if a Sandy one is worth it. But here we go, guys, to so go ahead and hop right into this review, and make sure you stay towards the end where I show you the upcoming cars I'll be reviewing this week. Anyways, guys, let's hop right into this, and we are going to do a first a little comparison. So here are the two cars right away. You can see this one looks a lot more glossy. This one you can see like the sandy already over it's like almost like a peachish and lightish color of all shades of the blue and orange but we're going to be reviewing those side by side but first we're going to be going throughout ryan inside laney so here is his expression i actually really like this car in the movie he actually does talk he talks to cruz and is actually really nice to her but here's his expression you can see it's a kind of angry boring kind of old expression He's got blue eyes. I really like the contrast of blue and orange. And you can see his orange eyebrows. And then you can see like the blinker. I like the lights coming from large to small. Like the orange red right there. On the hood, you can also see the blinker right there. And white and like the bubbly logo. And you can see the little hexagon surrounding it with the little white blinker right there. Here are his headlights with the black grill. You can see his headlights have a little blue on the end of that. Then you can see his exhaust pipes and his blue grill in the front. I really like that. Come to the side here, you can see his blue. So I'm getting on that. The blue shiny uh, rims. Yeah, yeah, rims. You get the black tires with actually the orange on the inside of the tires. Really cool. It's supposed to say light year, but they never did any. Never went to any much detail for the next gens and always just didn't even make it say light year. So it's kind of just like, it looks like white dots. But <laughs> going into the logos, we got Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cider, and Synergy. Number 21 in white, the bubbly fonts that I like. Here, let me adjust this ring light real quick so it makes it better. Okay. Here we go. We got the orange blinker coming out, spiraling out once again. We got the gray window here. We got the blue and the black exhaust pipe right there. You see the orange arrow pointing down right there. Coming up this way, we got the blue hexagons once again, blinker in white with the blinking logo right there there's this tire and you can see the white or the blue stripe coming over here into the headlight you can see where they fuel up the fuel right there then coming over here to this side we have the red tail lights number 21 and white and we get the yellow tail lights i never know which one's which i think these are the head tail lights and these are the ones that blink so maybe that's his blinker i don't know <laughs> but then you got the blue right there and the orange right there for the uh and so the spoiler, you can see the bottom of the car right there and the wheels. I really like that. Back to this side, you get the blue rims, the orange uh, on the inside as well. With the black light year tires, as they would say. Then you get the orange one, the orange blinkers logo spiraling out. With the blue with the hexagons, the exhaust pipe, and then once again the white blinker logo with the blinker font as well. And you get the gray windows, number 21 in white with the bubble logo. And the exhaust pipe, and then you got... The air right there, his um, sponsors once again, wheels back to the front here, going to the top. I still haven't looked up what these are after this whole break, I haven't looked it up. But you can see those little flaps that come up right there, which the number 21 in white, and a spoiler is blue, blinker, and the blinker logo. Really love the contrast of these orange and blue. They're really contrasting colors like red and green, and purple and yellow, and then of course, orange and blue. Really contrast against each other. Of course, gray window right there. I never show this much, but I'm going to show it this time. Made in China. Summer made in Mattel, but I bought this one early on. And that's why it is made in China. But yeah, I think not Mattel. Made in Thailand. What am I talking about? Now come over here to the Sandy. I'm not going to go too much into detail. Because overall, it is the same. Besides the expression and... Some mini details, but I, overall I think it is the same. I'm going to compare the expression real quick. You can see one expression is, I think like this one's like a little bit more days, while this one 
is more eager and mean, I guess. And they actually did change the color of his eyes. But yeah, it almost looks like a, he went through a snowstorm as well. You can either say snowstorm or sand, either or would probably work. But yeah, I'm not gonna go too much in detail. I'm just gonna show you the differences in this one because it is technically the same car. But you can see, yeah, his eyes are different and they're more of a darker blue. And you can see the, I feel like this one's more probably glossy. You look like they just took like a paintbrush and just glossed over it. But of course his eyebrows don't have it, which is kind of odd. But it looks like they just went over and glossed everything. I can see the nice blue that was in this one is now like in the different in the spoiler. It looks like a dusty blue, like he needs a, see if they can show up. He you know, like he needs a car wash real bad. You can see like in the window, like all the grains of sand right there. Really cool though. And all windows looks really cool, especially like the side and the tires. You can see like the grains sand is popping up there like whitish, yellowish. And you can see definitely the tires. I really like that they changed those up. And it looks like it went inside the rims and inside the tire on both sides. And you can see the logos are really hard to see now with all the grains of sand. I feel like they could have done more to the front. I feel like this side looks more just plain than this. Yeah, same thing to the other side. You can see all the grains of sand flying up. Really cool. Really making the colors drier. And uh, covering up the exhaust pipe and everything. Can't even see the orange arrow anymore. That was down there. Oh, barely. Like right there. Oh, well, I really want to show you the back though. And you can see, yeah, here's the back. You see a spoiler blinker. And you can see the art of the sand for coming underneath which I'll show you here in just a minute. And yeah, same thing here. You come up to the top. Not much, too, not too much difference, obviously. This one's a whole lot brighter and this one's a lot more dull. But yeah, coming into the back, you can, you, or underneath actually. It also made in China, yeah, but you can just see, look at the difference here. Complete difference, looks like a completely different car from under here. But of course, if you were going to choose one to get, I would obviously get the normal one, this guy right here. The normal one inside the landing compared to the sandy one. Because obviously if you are going to race with one, I would race with uh, the uh, normal one. But if you want to use a sandy one, then go ahead. Use that one all you want. It's a really fun car. But I probably wouldn't use that one in a race unless you're saying they're going to race on the, what's that one beach called? Outside the Rusty's Racing Center. I'm not too sure what the beach, oh, Fireball Beach. Where they race, they're gonna have a big fireball beach race. I know there's much other, many other sandy ones. I also I have a Jackson Storm and Cruz Ramirez, but I don't have them on in hand right now. I think I have the plastic versions. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, if you're gonna get one, pick the normal Ryan. But um, here I'm gonna go ahead and show you the upcoming cars with a spider on top. Actually, I'm gonna pull them down. Here, let me fix this real quick. But yeah, you can see here they all are. And yeah, I got, we got the uh, Miss Fritter is coming up here soon. We got Rev and Go Next Gen versus Stock Car with Mac coming up here soon. Mac's actually going to be coming up with two other cars reviews. And they'll actually be a two-part video. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And tell me which one you like more. And if you do like the Sandy Racers. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.